What's the most unfortunate building in Berlin? This one right here, the Central Animal Laboratories of the Free University of Berlin in Seelendorf. This brutalist building opened in 1981 and was designed by Gert and Magdalena Henske, a capable but possibly disturbed husband and wife team of Berlin architects. Its nickname is the Mouse Bunker, which brings us to the unfortunate part. It was used to raise and perform experiments on lab animals until it closed in 2020. I'm a huge fan of brutalist architecture, but it seems almost unfair to make a building's function as brutal or even more brutal than its architecture. The mouse bunker has been vacant for the past two years and was set to be demolished by the Charité Hospital, which now owns it, until a bunch of fans saved it. I was glad they did because, like I said, I love brutalist architecture, but now having been there, I'm not so sure. Historically, I know they're right, but emotionally, you could probably build several thousand new apartments here. In person, the building is as inviting as a slimy pond on a hot summer day and as accessible as a step-parent. It's made of angles and cement, but also just as much angst and menace. Bunkers are made to protect whatever's inside from whatever's outside, but standing near this, you feel like you're being protected from whatever's inside. The building also has a very clear front and back, which makes it seem less like a bunker and more like a malevolent spaceship. Not like from Star Wars or even Star Trek, but maybe Battlestar Galactica or some South American space movie franchise none of us has ever heard of. Astro Nave de las Muertes or whatever. If this ship materialized in your galaxy, everyone would hold their breath, afraid of annoying it with the wrong kind of breathing, let alone any form of communication. Cross this ship and you will no longer be a galaxy, and neither will the galaxy next to your galaxy, and the galaxy next to the galaxy next to your galaxy. The moment the ship moved on, the relief would be so immense and the partying so joyful that the population would increase by more than half nine months later. They were filming something inside the building when I stopped by to film the building, but I couldn't convince any of the gaffers or assistant directors or even the catering people to let me inside, which is too bad because the few pictures I've seen make it seem impressive. But having been there, I still just think, hey, you could build several thousand good apartments right here.